Hi, we're the Mueller's. I'm Drew. This is Katie and my wife, Wendy. So we're here today at the Indy Vineyard Missional Food Pantry. Indianapolis is one of the largest food deserts in the country. Uh, it's no coincidence that God works in mysterious ways. And we've gone through many of our own uh, tough times, trials, and tribulations. And, and we live in a community where um, you don't think that people would be in a place of hunger. Um, and we found out firsthand as a family how fast life can come at you with several tragedies that happened. Um, and I, I am a firm believer, and we've all talked about this many a times, that uh, uh, we believe that one of our local food pantries in Castleton, the Fishers United Methodist Church, saved our life, saved our marriage, and saved our family because of the, the grace, the generosity, and the prayer that they gave for us during those tough times. As we felt the guilt, as we felt the pressure, we felt the the uselessness, so to speak, of, of the situation that we were in, um, the church, the community, and the food pantry itself gave us the opportunity to, to rebuild from the ground up. So what we're going to embark on over the next week uh, is, uh, beyond this hunger, we're going to eat one meal a day. For those of you that want to help support us, we're all three going to participate here. Uh, we figured that an average breakfast is worth about five bucks, your average lunch is worth about ten dollars, uh, so that's fifteen dollars a day. You can donate a, a breakfast, right? Instead of taking us out to McDonald's, donate five bucks for us. If you want to take us out to lunch instead, we're not going to eat it. Instead, we're going to donate it. That's ten bucks. And if you really want to go all out, buy a meal for us for the day, that's fifteen dollars. For those of you with generous hearts and big pocketbooks, that would be hundred and five dollars a week. Our goal as a family is to raise ten thousand dollars. That's going to help our organization, Faith, Hope, and Love, bring a hundred families together to educate them on how to become unimpoverished, eat better, find local resources, find better community sources and medical needs uh, in their local environment. Appreciate the fact that um, Faith, Hope and Love is allowing us to participate and, and serve the community. I'm Katie Mueller and I'm doing this because I'm blessed um, so much in my house to have um, food at every single meal and I just want to um, reach out and really see how those families feel um, that don't have food every meal. So um, I'm a child of God, so I feel like I should go out and um, help those people who don't have those. I'm asking my friends to either donate money or to come to the pantry and help us um, give out food. So a lot of my friends don't want to give money, but I told them that and as a favor to me, they could come here and help instead. You know, we hear it every day, we do this a lot, and we're out with friends and family, and we're eating dinner, we see someone we haven't seen for a while, and they, they follow us on Facebook or on Instagram, and they say, man, you guys are doing such a great job, you know, we'd, we'd really like to help, we'd like to get involved. Well, here's your opportunity, here's your chance. It's really easy. You can make a quick donation, you can join us in the cause, and, and go a week and, and do what we're doing, and only eat one meal a day, and have other people support you. Um, but follow us on, the, on Facebook that week to, let us talk about uh, what it feels like to only have one meal a day. We'll be sharing stuff on Instagram and on Facebook, uh, maybe a little bit of Twitter out there. And I'm sure uh, the younger generation will be using Snapchat. And then obviously, hand in hand with that is what Faith, Hope, and Love does, helping their relationship with the churches, um, with their uh, needs, with their training, with the education, and, and with the support to make sure that they can continue to not only physically nourish the community, but also spiritually nourish them and give them what they need from God.